Hello lovely people, welcome back and welcome to a new video. I hope you are all well. Today's video is all about comfort today. When thinking about style, for me, the first thing that comes to mind is comfort. Um, now I know a lot of you may be thinking, comfort, style, fashion, it's a bit of a frumpy word, um, but for me, comfort is the absolute key to feeling and looking stylish. Um, there's nothing worse than feeling uncomfortable in your outfit. Um, and so that is why I wanted to dedicate today's video to comfort and style together. Classy outfit ideas that are also comfortable too. The first part of today's video is sponsored by Vivaya, which is an eco-conscious footwear brand. You may have seen my previous video. Um, you can go and check that out after this um, if you want a little bit more information or to see some other shoes. But, but I'm really excited because they are a brand that really encompasses the idea of comfort. So they've actually just launched these beauties, which are the Aria five degree pointed toe flats. And I can clarify and confirm here that these are just incredibly comfortable. As, as I was filming this, I was saying to Tim, these shoes are so comfortable um, and so easy to wear. So I'm really excited to be able to get out and about in these as the temperature warms up a bit. I actually have a cream pair as well. So these come in a range of colors, which is always a bonus. Um, I personally went for the cream and black because it fits my style. Very, very minimalist and timeless. These will last you forever. Um, and like I say, just so incredibly comfortable. So these are made of ultra soft recycled yarn, which is woven by 3D stretchy knitting technology, which it's just amazing. I love how they combine the idea of comfort and that is what makes Vivaya such a special shoe brand. They also have a redesigned insole which gives extra support and cushioning. I think a lot of us are kind of put off by some flats because we think they're really, really flat. But these give you that support you need when walking in flats. For me, flats are my go-to shoe. I wouldn't really walk around all day in heels. So I love that this gives you that kind of supported feeling and it's not like you're kind of pounding the pavements. It's really like you're walking on a cushion. And as well as the area, I also have this gray pair. So these are pointed toe kitten heels and I just wanted to demonstrate with these how comfortable a heel can be. Um, it's got a very small heel, but because of all the technology that goes into the shoe, it just makes them extremely comfortable as well as giving you that little bit of elevation. So these would be a great option for workwear, I think, and my looks that I'm going to show you today will give a nod towards a slightly more workwear feel. And just a quick one, Vivaya also do half sizes, which is always great because I'm usually a half size. I went up a full size in these, and then for the flats, I went for the half size and they fit me perfectly. So I think that's always good to know. A lot of the time we go to a shoe brand and they don't do the half sizes and it's so frustrating. So it's really nice that they offer that option there um, in case you're the same as me. If you are wearing these in the spring, summer, warm day, they have an eco-friendly deodorizing insole, which just kind of blows my mind how that can be a thing. But that's always a good thing to know, isn't it? And uh, they also have 100% Recycled cardboard packaging, as I mentioned, they are an eco-conscious brand, which I know pretty much all of you are conscious about yourselves um, and want that kind of thing from a brand too. So I will pop my description code on screen and down below as well. And all of the Vivaya products, info and my sizes will be linked in the description box. So you can go and check those out. So let's get on with the outfits and how I've styled these pieces um, into my kind of comfy, classy, everyday kind of looks. So outfit number one, and I've gone for the black area at five degrees. And the aim of this was smart casual meets comfort. Um, and that is exactly what I'm doing with the shoes, with a big oversized knit, and then keeping it a little bit smarter with this trench coat, um, my Pullen Paris bag. Um, I just wanted to bring a little pop of color, and I think this kind of cognac shade of the bag does that. Um, and then the white jeans for me, just break it up, do a bit of kind of the sandwich dressing. We've got the black shoes at the bottom, um, and I like to kind of sandwich that with the black 
jumper on the top and then a bit of contrast in the middle with the white jeans and I think bringing in the white just makes it feel a little bit more spring-like. I know I'm a bit early for that but um, just if you want to kind of nod towards spring, I personally am done with winter fashion um, so bringing in the white jeans just helps to kind of give it a bit of freshness. And then I've kind of done a similar thing in reverse for my next look. And I've gone for the cream Aria shoes, which are so chic. Um, I feel like I've been missing a pair like this in my spring wardrobe. And these fill a gap that I know um, needed filling because I've got trainers, I've got some loafers, but these can kind of be worn for everything. Loafers are pretty smart, trainers are pretty casual, but these kind of tick all the boxes and you could combine them with something like the black trousers, like I've done here, the black straight leg trousers. And it gives it a little bit of a workwear feel, um, but then I've just made it a little bit more casual casual on top, again going for that smart, casual, classy, easy feel just by going for this boucle jacket. Sandwich dressing again, we've got the cream on the bottom with the cream on the top and the black in the middle and then a cosy knit underneath from Mango and when I think of transitional dressing, I think of a couple of spring pieces just mixed in with your cozier pieces like your knitwear and that's what I tried to achieve in this outfit. And I do think if you smart casual work environment, this would work really nicely. So let's talk about the pointed toe gray heel. I love this kind of light mid gray for the spring summer. And I've just combined that with a double denim look. I am a huge fan of double denim. I feel like it's not for everybody, but um, I don't know why. Why is it not for everyone? It's just jeans and a denim shirt. Um, but I love this look. I think it feels quite smart, but effortless. With it being matching denim, it feels a little bit more pulled together, but with it being denim at the same time, um, it feels more casual. But then I wanted to contrast that with the shoes. You know I talk all the time about contrast dressing um, and how important it is to kind of mix your styles up a little bit. And that's exactly what I've done with this. So we've got the slightly more casual with the denim and then I wanted to go for the smarter shoe. And I do think you could transition this look depending on your work environment. The shoe really elevates it. And I love pairing a heel with denim. I think it works so well. And a smaller heel for me is a preference, not only because it's more wearable and walkable, especially this Vivaya pair, but also because I just think it looks more chic in general too. And then what I've done just to bring a bit of the gray into the outfit is gone for this oversized wool blazer. Again, it just adds that extra layer. We're not into the new season yet, so it's nice to have a little bit of extra warm. And everything will be linked below where possible. If not, I'll do alternatives. And then for a little pop of color, I've gone for my Demelier dark red bag. And the combination between the denim and the gray is great for that transitional look. Something slightly more wintry with something slightly more summery. Summery, springy. Don't wanna get ahead of myself too much. So note again in this next outfit, the contrast dressing I've got here, but it's contrast dressing, but all cohesive. And it's cohesive because of the color palette. I've not gone too rogue with all my colors, um, but we've got some contrast. So the contrast here is the stripes. I think we've got quite a kind of spring feel with a striped knit and a light t-shirt underneath, but that's contrasted, juxtaposed, by the leather trousers we've got. And again, juxtaposed by the slightly more spring via shoes. And then we've got another contrast with the coat. So we've got a few different contrasts here going on between something slightly more spring-like and slightly more wintry. Um, but then that's all brought together by the color palette. I've kept it nice and simple, creams, blacks with the navy coat. Um, just gone for three colors here. I often talk about the three color rule. That's something else to note. If you are a bit overwhelmed by your wardrobe and pairing things together, just think of three colors to not overwhelm the outfit. And that is what makes it so cohesive and brings it all together. And I personally think these cream shoes work so nicely with the slightly cropped leather trouser. And there's something about a pointy toe ballet flat that feels very Audrey Hepburn, very chic and very effortless. Stirrup leggings are going nowhere for the new season and I have been getting so much wear out of mine 
kind of to the point where I need to stop because I'm wearing them a lot. I'm not wearing them at the moment with boots, but when the season changes, as the season changes, um, I'll be swapping my boots for a flat, like these pointed toe ones. I think the pointed toe on this really elongates the leg when you're wearing the black leggings as well. You just feel like it's taking the eye right down to the furthest possible point. And the fact that the shoes are the same color as leggings, again, help to elongate your leg. If you are petite, that's a little tip to um, kind of creating that length. And I also find that the stirrup legging is much more flattering than leggings that just cut off because again, the stirrup part brings the eye right down to that lowest point of the foot. Um, whereas short, like kind of normal cropped leggings will cut you off a little bit shorter. Um, so I think just with the pointed toe flats, it works really nicely and again, feels very elegant. And then I've combined this with my camel coat. I love camel and black together. And just to make it feel a little bit fresher, I put the white shirt underneath. This is an oversized white shirt, so you could take the coat off and the shirt would be long enough kind of over, the, over the leggings. But if you are going out and about for the day, you probably won't be taking your coat off. Um, but I just think these three colors, again, work really nicely together. If you are going for that effortlessly classy look, three colors that work so nicely, black, white, and camel, um, just such a fail-safe combination. Finally, something slightly more workwear-like, but again, feeling very effortless because of the cargo trousers. I think cargo trousers are such an easy and also overlooked part of your wardrobe because they can instantly dress something down without feeling like you're wearing joggers. They still have that smarter element to them because they're trousers. These ones are from me and M. And again, contrast dressing um, between the slightly more relaxed cargo trousers and then the more formal shoe. When you're pairing your outfits and when you're styling your outfits, think about those pieces that you maybe wouldn't normally put together. I think straight away cargo trousers would gravitate towards trainers, which they look great with. But just think outside the box and think about how you can combine them in a way that not only gets the most wear out of those trousers, but also feels a little bit more unique and different. Um, and pairing them with a more formal shoe definitely does that. And then again, color sandwich brought the gray to the top of the outfit to balance it out and then combine it with a little bit of black. The black coat, the black belt and the black Demelier bag just kind of ties it all in together and with the oversized bag great for workwear. I think this just makes such a chic workwear look and I feel like the heels really make this. If you swap this outfit to trainers, it would feel a lot more relaxed. But I think with the accessories, the heels and the bag just make it feel a little bit more structured and workwear-like. So I think that's a really effortless way to do workwear. So thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you loved the outfits. I really enjoyed creating these looks and thinking about how I'm pairing my pieces together and I encourage you to do the same in your wardrobe and let me know what you come up with. Don't forget you can shop Vivaya with the discount code below. Um, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget subscribe, give me a thumbs up, um, leave me a comment always and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!